Man, it's raining pretty bad out here. It's time to start that weekend vlog, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? Anthony, aka the big fella here. Uh, right now, I'm at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, Monday, I'm going to Lake Orange, and um, I'm going to get some stuff that I think will work out there. I need to defeat that lake. It's uh, bugging me that I haven't caught a fish there. I've been hearing, and I actually saw that there are uh, shad are on the move in Lake Orange, so I came here to get some more shad colored baits, and uh, hopefully, we'll be successful with that. But I'm going to be fishing with a co worker. And uh, that should think, make things a little more interesting as well. He's never been there before, so, you know, it'll be a good time. I think I'm going to go ahead and get one of these. It's like a uh, chrome and black and white colored, like, really small crankbait. Um, almost like in the shape of a stick a little bit. About the same size as what's uh, running in Lake Orange right now. But, um, you know, I figured I'd get some more shad color baits. Really don't know what else I want yet, so I just need to take a look around and see if I find anything interesting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these rocket shads from uh, Strike King 2. That should work, I think. Now, why do they have to go and put this sign up here? 25% off of the uh, Z-Man chatter baits. Got a couple shad color chatter baits, so uh, I think I'm almost done here. Let me go over here and check out the soft plastic section to see if they got any good deals going on. Alright you guys, it started down point when I uh, got out of the bass pro shop, like my hair is on the sink right now. Uh, you know, spent 26 bucks in the bass pro and, uh, you know, went ahead and got the whole, like, shag. He ended up calling me right now, but he's like, sexy shag, shag, and he had a shag. So I took it and 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 took it. I also plan on getting there around like 7, so I can see if I can try to catch the top water by the world. Alright you guys, it's Saturday and it's a pretty gloomy one at that. It's uh, raining right now and uh, it's been uh, thunderstorming off and on. So, you know, I've just been in the house hanging out most of the day. Watching college football. Um, later on tonight, Alabama and FSU plays. So, uh, uh, we're going to have some family over for that. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just continue watching this game here. I think this is Texas and uh, Maryland. And uh, it's actually been a pretty good game, but uh, let me go ahead and finish watching this game. I'll see you guys when the Alabama game comes on. So my wife just called me, and uh, she said she's going to pick up some stuff to make some potato soup. What a perfect, perfect meal for a rainy, gloomy day like this. I can't wait. All right, y'all, here we go.
potato soup is getting there, guys. Mmm, it might be there actually. This is like loaded with like chunks of potato, carrots, celery, and some cream of mushroom in there. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I don't know where everybody is. Um, I thought everybody was going to be here for the game, but uh, it's almost halftime. I'm pretty sure they'll be here soon, though. I'm uh, tired of cheering and yelling in the living room all by myself. But right now, the score is like 7-3. to three, And I think uh, second quarter is about halfway over. But let me get back inside and finish watching this game. There go, everybody. I'm not alone no more. <laughs> <One of you. laughs> all right, you guys. The game is over. Alabama won. Roll tide. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be uh, cooking up. I'm going to be making a 7-Up uh, Pound Cake. My wife might be making some cookies. You know, we're going to throw some ribs and stuff on the grill. I think I might do some potatoes on the grill. Not sure what else. Bratwurst or something like that. But uh, I'm over here talking to myself. My wife's actually too, so it's just me right now. So. Cake's almost done. All right, you guys, it's about 10.30 at night. The uh, cookout is over. I just got finished tying on what I plan to start off with tomorrow. Got the boat hooked up, loaded up, everything is ready to go. So all I have to do is just wake up and get on the road tomorrow. So um, check the weather. It's supposed to be nice and sunny, not too hot, like 82, I believe. So it should be a pretty uh, prime day for fishing, especially since I'm going to be getting out there kind of early. But um, we'll go, go upstairs, take a shower, and go ahead and get some rest. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys. I am on the way to Lake Orange. I uh, wore the orange shirt for it and everything. And I just want to let Lake Orange know one thing. I'm coming after you with everything I got today, including some of my best sleep. Because it's uh, 6.30 in the morning, and I'm leaving right now. I should get there by 8.00. And uh, hopefully get on the top water bite. So I, I should catch something today, but we'll see. All right, y'all. I'm here. So uh, without further ado, here we go. All right, y'all. We out here rolling on the lake. I got my coworker Darren with me. We uh. I'm going to try to catch a fish here. This is my fifth time. I actually went back and counted the videos of me being here. This is my fifth time uh, coming here on video. So um, hopefully we'll be able to catch something so I won't be a uh, goose egg to this lake anymore. Oh man, I don't like that. I just noticed something about this line here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, right here. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how easy it would have been to break. <laughs> I broke it with my hands. Breed. Got one? <laughs> yeah, shit, at least you caught one out here. I'm struggling to catch them out here. Yeah, about a 10 pounder. Yep. Dan got his 10 pounder. Well, y'all, I just caught my first lake orange fish, unfortunately. Y'all won't see it because I wasn't recording. Oh, my God, I feel like an idiot. Well, ain't nothing to do but try and catch another one. Hey, that was, that was, he, got, he caught a nice size one. First one. I thought he was recording. Yeah. Not. Man, I had to get somebody to vouch for me, y'all. I'm not lying. I caught a fish out here. All right, y'all, Darren had to leave. He had some stuff to do. But um, I'm out here fishing on my own now. The battery is starting to die a little bit. So I'm um, probably not going to venture too far away from the dock. Because I don't feel like you're having a row all the way back there. And I'm probably going to be here for another three and a half, four hours. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get a fish on camera for you guys. 
But uh, let me go ahead and continue fishing and see what we come up with. Alright you guys, I am off of the water. The battery didn't have enough juice for me to continue to fish, so I went ahead and called it a day. The wind was also blowing pretty hard, so I didn't want to, you know, row to one side of the lake and then have to fight the wind coming back. So, um, yeah, here I am, sitting in the uh, parking lot. But, uh, it was a pretty good day. I actually beat Lake Orange today. Although I don't have the footage to prove that I did, all you guys can do is just take Baron for his word. Um, saying that I did catch a fish. Normally what I do is I'll hit the record button and record for about five minutes or so. And if I don't catch anything, I'll stop that clip and delete it. And then um, normally I'll hit record again and I'll keep doing that until I either catch fish or the end of the day comes around. But um, I think I forgot to hit record after I deleted one of the segments that I wasn't that I knew I wasn't going to use. And um, there you have it. Didn't have. Um, a video of me catching that fish in Lake Orange and I didn't even take pictures because by the time I had the fish in my hand uh, it kept slipping out of my hands and it fell in the water before I could even get to my phone so um, yeah there you have it Lake Orange beat um, unofficially I guess we'll call it um, don't worry though I will be getting back out there and uh, fishing in the fall because the shad will start running again and fishing should be turned on by then but um, I'm about to go in here and go to the store and get me something to drink because I'm parched. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, it is 2.15. I don't have to pick Isaiah up until 6, so it's either sit here for 3 hours and 45 minutes and do nothing or go back over to Lake Orange and fish from the bank. So I think I'm going to go back and fish from the bank. Round 2. Lady, go! All right, you guys, I'm back for round two. Of course, the wind's not blowing at all right now. All right, you guys, I had to put some more string on here because the string was just brittle for some reason. I just lost that spinner bait that I bought at Bass Pro the other day. Right now I have the uh, inline spinner bait tied on. Just hoping for anything bluegill, something. Of course, the wind picked up. Um, now that I'm, uh, I had thought about getting the boat out and just you know maybe rowing across the uh, across the other side of the pond lake and uh, fishing that bank. Alright you guys, I switched over to a whopper plopper over here. The water's a little bit calmer over here because the wind's not getting to it as much. And there's a, a ton of grass, so I want to stay above that and see if uh, something will come out of hiding and get this thing. <laughs> Look, you guys, I got a fish. Oh, and this one camera.
No, no, no. Don't re-hook down there. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Orange Lake beat for y'all on camera. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. He was hooked kind of weird. Like it was like a really, really meaty portion of his lip. So I had to go find some pliers and get it loose. Because I couldn't get a good grip on the hook. Ah, oh, boy. Yes. I told y'all I caught a fish in here earlier. I just had to catch one on the camera for y'all to believe me. Came out of this grass line here, rolling this whopper plopper next to it. Look at how packed the fishing pier is. That's unbelievable. They're like fishing right on top of each other. I don't know how they do it. All right, you guys, I am back in the truck. And I can definitely say this afternoon was a little bit better than this morning, mainly because I actually got footage of me catching a fish here at Lake Orange. The other one was kind of sort of hearsay. I mean, I did catch one, but I didn't get it on camera, and Darren vouched for me. But um, there you go. got one on camera for you guys, so I'm uh, pretty excited. And I think fishing is actually getting ready to turn back on here, so I'm actually uh, wanting to come out here and do this again. But um, I need to go get me another drink because I am parched again. So uh, let me go ahead and get to this store. Well, there you have it. A celebratory black and mild to celebrate the defeat of Lake Orange. Finally did it today after five plus videos of me failing. Well, um, let me not say failing. I'll explain why in a minute. But um, I got five videos of me not succeeding or not catching fish out here at Lake Orange. And I've been out here numerous times without the camera trying to catch fish. And I uh, still didn't succeed. But um, the reason why I say I didn't fail um, is because I didn't give up. Um, if anything, if today wasn't a testament of not giving up and being able to succeed if you keep trying, uh, today was definitely that day because I've been out here trying different things and uh, I just had to finally figure out what worked out here and uh, that ended up happening to be the Whopper Plopper and the first fish I caught that I didn't get on film was with the uh, old Wacky Rig. But um, I just want to tell you guys, if you're doing something and you're not succeeding, you're at that point where you're about to give up, don't, because I'm telling you, if you keep on trying, you'll get it. You know, I don't think anything else vlog-worthy is going on this afternoon. Something I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, as far as next weekend goes, I think Hurricane Irma is supposed to be hitting the eastern seaboard, and I'm not sure when and if it's going to hit us. So there may or may not be a weekend vlog next weekend. Um, if I do do anything, if we're trapped inside the house, I may do like a, a rant video because believe me, there are some things that I need to rant about. But um, other than that, if it uh, doesn't come, you know, there, just look forward to more fishing or outdoorsy stuff. And um, also, you know, the MTV LTV contest is still going on, so be sure to find that video. I'll actually put it at the end of this video for you guys, so it'll be a, a easy, easy clickable box that you can click on, and it'll take you right to that video. But. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode where you can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose of the great outdoors. Make sure you get yours too. Y'all have a great week.